Hey guys, this is Blair with the Taylor team and today I've got Jose Montez, our painter, and we're going to go over some questions just about general house painting and getting your home ready for sale. Uh, so Jose, tell me, what should I look for when I'm hiring a painting contractor? Well, um, the, the first thing that I'm going to look is uh, looking for recommendations with people. Okay. I am not really a fan of looking at people on the internet. Okay, right. And uh, talk to the people, okay. ask as many questions as you have, like uh, experience, uh, skills, uh, right. all the things that you have. Okay. Uh, for me, it's very important communication with the people yes. and meeting face to face. Face to face. Face to face. Well, you're going to paint my house, right? So yeah, I will. <laughs> you're actually painting my house. So, so that makes sense. So basically, just be careful, get a reference through somebody else. Yeah. Okay. You can go to Sherwin Williams store or mm -hmm. whatever store and ask for recommendations for people. They, right. they, they have uh, good recommendations. Yes. Okay. And so, uh, what do you see most people like doing painting wise to get their home ready for sale? Well, most of the people they don't want to spend a lot of money, mm -hmm. so we have to help them to save that money okay. and uh, tell them well. We can make a makeup in your house just to make it ready. Okay, make, make it ready, look, yeah. Make it look clean, yes, fresh, right? And uh, do the impression that the house is is uh, is was very taken care of. That okay, yeah. So so that way when they come in, they're like, oh, this thing has been taken care mm -hmm. of. Okay. Yeah, and that's the feeling that you mm -hmm. want. I know that's what, I mean that's what buyers want. So now can can uh, people leave or can I leave when you come paint? Do I need to stay there the whole time, or am I good to leave? Like, leave the house. I'm working on it. You, yeah. can, you can go wherever you okay, want. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're like, don't stand here and watch me paint. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, and so, how do you determine the amount that you charge for a painting project? So, the time is per square feet. Okay, okay. And uh, sometimes it's, uh, it, there is just uh, room, or I think that I need to make some extras, like a patch in a hole or everything else. Sure. I, I make my estimates on time per okay. hour. Okay. I estimate how many hours I'm gonna invest in that house or okay. whatever, but most of the time it's per square feet. That makes sense, okay, so um, per square foot. Um, and then depending on what extra patches and things <laughs> are needed, okay. Um, and so, uh, do I need to move everything out of a house or out of the way before you paint it? How does that work? That's a recommendation. We can help you, but mm -hmm. I don't like to do that because if I break something, it's yeah, right. gonna be right. You don't want to be liable. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. Nope. <laughs> um, and then, of course, this is a big question. Everybody asks me whenever I'll refer you out, like, what color do I choose? Like, how you decide that? Well, my, in my recommendations, if you have a small house, just like colors, but in that way you will, you will make look the house bigger. Okay. And uh, neutral colors, right? And the colors that be are using everybody right now everybody's using gray so just stick with it uh -huh. don't get fancy nah no, yeah no, no, okay. no. it's really it's really about appealing to the masses in my business and that's what you're doing is prepping it to appeal mm -hmm. to the masses yeah okay and then um how long does it take if like say i have a 1500 square foot house uh to paint uh actually let's say a 2500 square foot house uh to paint the interior in the exterior if you want to repaint the ceilings, it depends. If you want to repaint the ceilings, stream, floors, walls, right. everything has a, a different price. And okay. it depends how many coats of paint we will need. Right. Because right now we are dealing with the prices with the on paint and materials. Yeah. yeah. So if you had to ballpark just the amount of days it would take for you to do that inside and outside of a 2,500 square foot house, if I had to be painted inside and outside, what would you say? I will say, I will tell you two weeks. Okay, got it. Two weeks. That I, makes sense. I, yeah. I'm going to make a little room in case of something happened. And weather. And weather. Yeah, weather permit yeah. is very important. That makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all the questions I got for you. Again, this is Jose, and uh, we appreciate you coming and talking to us and kind of helping us. Um, guys, we've got uh, information below. If you've got questions, want to text us, call us, or... Uh, if you want us to get you connected with Jose, if you got a paint job or something she need done, let us know. Um, hope you guys have a great day.